What is up guys and welcome back to Cube Brick. Hope that everyone is having a good 2021 so far. The time has come to finish what I've started last year, so this is gonna be the finale of my latest building series The Return to Forbidden Island. It's been about one and a half months since I've started this project and today we're going to cover every single detail that I've included in this amazing mug, so grab your coconut juice, sit back and just enjoy what I have prepared for you this time. If you saw the previous parts, then you already more or less know what to expect, but if you somehow missed them, just a quick recap of what this build is all about. When I came back to LEGO after my Dark Ages, I made a little vignette with the Islanders, and now I wanted to remake it with all the bricks and skills I gathered over the last two years. And to be honest, it far exceeded my expectations. I wanted to mix the techniques I've learned try out a few new ones and even use some that are popular amongst the community but I never had a chance to use. And the overall look that I've got is something that I can really be proud of. I even was able to get my hands on the 21st minifigure series so I could include the Jaguar Warrior as well as the Hermit Crab that came with the Castaway figure. So now I can finally present to you the finished diorama. And one more thing before we jump into this review. If you want to know what the future plans for the channel are, and some of the new stuff I plan out for this year, then stick until the end of the video, where I will briefly talk about all the goodness that is on the way. With that said, let's dive straight into today's final episode of the Return to Forbidden Island. So here it is guys, the fully completed island, and in my opinion it just couldn't get any better. You can almost feel the tropical vibes coming out of it, mixed with a little bit of the classic Islanders nostalgia from the Pirates team back in the 90s. Of course this is nothing like the sets I had back then, and even nothing I would be able to build two years ago when I did the predecessor of this mock. The Skull Cave is something that blows my mind every time I look at it, so let's start the review with it, as it was the most tricky part of the whole build. The structure itself may look a bit fragile, but it actually is very sturdy as for this type of build. There are a few more delicate parts like the corner wedges on the temples or the eyebrows, but the whole structure is held strongly by the rest of the cave. It wasn't easy to get the curved shape right, because that is not a usual way to build out of LEGO, so I used some hinge pieces on the bottom part and finished the top using a flex tube with Technic bricks on it. One thing that was made on the fly but in the end is the best thing I could do are the glowing eyes and nose. I mean I did want to incorporate glowing eyes because that is what I made in the old vignette but I had no idea it would look so good. I just placed a container made with transparent curved panels and filled it with a whole lot of trans orange parts, mostly fire pieces and cheese slopes. That way I got a pretty decent fire effect inside and to be honest a quite menacing as well. The sand on the inside of the cave is made with a net technique that I've actually used for the first time ever. I can now understand why you don't see that one used a lot because it's a real pain to put together, but the look of it is worth it. The cave itself is filled with treasures to lure pirates and treasure hunters that are sailing in the area of the island. Little that they know that if they choose to pursue the treasure, it will not end well for them. And the pirates that I've included in this mug find it out the worst possible way as you can see one of them is being offered as a sacrifice to the island gods. At first I wanted to make the altar in front of the cave, but that way it would cover too much of it and that is something I wanted to avoid. So I've placed the altar on the top of the skull instead and it actually turned out even better. I used a mix of techniques here from the sideways place slopes to the small offset I managed to get on the curved altar itself. And of course there is the terrified pirate that is about to get his heart cut out by the natives. On the both sides of the cave there is a rocky cliff that I already started outlining in the last episode. Both the left and right side are made in a similar way, that is the slopes are placed on their sides in a quite delicate way. Only a few rows are studded in and that is because I wanted to get a slight offset going from the bottom up. The pattern is quite regular and clean with a few deviations here and there, but that is what a rocky cliff should look like. And the top of the rockwork is finished up with some foliage. 
mostly a mix of leaf pieces and bamboo parts mixed with a couple seaweeds and the flexible protectors from the leaf stems I got in my last bricks and pieces order. I didn't want the top of the cliff to be too flat, so I used some additional wedges and covered them a bit slanted with plants. As for the jungle, most of it is the same as you could see in the last episode. The trees were not changed at all and I just added some more plants on the ground to fill the gaps and add some more variety to the build. And speaking of the trees, how about a tutorial for the 4 trees I made for this mock? What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section. The left side of the jungle is a bit flat and covered with leaves and flowers, while on the right there are a lot of more bushes and vines to make the mock as much asymmetrical as it could be giving the shape that the build has overall. I tried to use as many different parts for the foliage so it wouldn't get too boring as bigger chunks of the same scenery could get sometimes. And of course I've added a few animals hiding in the greenery. The beach is pretty much the same as it was. Since I didn't place the altar on the sand, I just finished the middle part with some tan pieces to make it look uniformly to the rest of the beach and place some bottom teeth of the skull sticking out of the sand. In the front I've just added a few details to the branch holding the cage so it would look more natural as it would be a trunk of a tree that used to grow here. The rest of the beach is everything I covered in the previous episode so there is no point of going into the details. Just a bunch of wedge plates mixed with tiles and plates to give a bit natural look to it and all covered with everything that the sea brought to the shore. And the water is now fully completed since I've just received my Bricklink order with over 1000 diamonds and it's looking great, just as I expected. The last piece of detail that I wanted to use is the old canoe from the original Islanders team, which one of the captured pirates have stolen and is running for his life while being shot at by the native archers. And that is basically all of the island I've made. I had loads of fun making this mock and I am so happy of how the final version has turned out. And now, since you stuck with me here to the very end of the video, let's discuss the future plans for 2021 involving my channel. The second part of last year was very good for me as we are slowly nearing 1000 subscribers and that is one thing I will be focusing in the first few months. At first of course I will make a cinematic for the island and I was thinking about making a tutorial video for the trees I used here. Then I have few new mocks already planned that will be coming out in the following months starting with a February build. As many of you probably know, there is a LEGO community event in February that involves building a space rover of some kind, so that's something I'll be focusing on next. I'm not completely sure yet which faction I will use for this year. It can be either Ice Planet, which are my favorites, or maybe Spirus, or something completely different, I don't know yet. I will make a poll on my Instagram account if I need some help deciding, so make sure you follow me there if you want to help out. After that I want to start a new building series, which I don't want to spoil too much, so all I can say for now is that it's going to be a Star Wars mock. And that is what you can more or less expect from me in the following months, and now it's time for your feedback about the island. How do you like the entirety of the mock? Would you change anything? Is there something I'm missing here? or you just simply can't pick up your jaw from the floor? Let me know down in the comments section below. You can also check out a playlist I've made for the series here, or check out my other mocks in the one over there. And if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to stay up to date with all the videos I'm releasing. Until next time, take care and keep it breaking.